we're going to talk about basic install for a contractor today, Keith. So walk me through kind of the normal questions you would get. You know, how can it be mounted? You know, what, what pipe diameters, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so the initial thing that a contractor is going to want to do, and it's going to relate to the price of the product, is what size pipe are you dealing with? Sure. Sure. So there are a lot of manufacturers out there that only have a three quarter or only have a three quarter and a one. What, what's our range that leaks? So we've got about eight sizes, eight basic sizes. So three quarter all the way up to three inches in the basic system. We can install this system in a vertical top to bottom flow, mm -hmm. bottom to top flow. We can do a horizontal flow and then we can rotate this actuator and this ball valve in any, any direction that you want to. So if you're running out of space here and you needed to tuck it 90 degrees that way, you could do that as well. Absolutely. Okay. You cut the, cut the pipe wherever you want to do the installation. We got a nice uh, installation showing right here. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you want to be careful of is obviously uh, you want to put the sensor on the downside, downstream side of the water flow. Yep. Here's you got a spring check here, right? Yeah, the spring check actually performs a good function and that due to the sensitivity of this sensor that we have here, we can monitor water going forwards or backwards. Okay. So that's why we want to put a spring check in there is to only monitor forward flow. Okay. Yeah, so the whole system is really designed to make it simple for the contractor. They don't have to specify a temperature or pressure, high pressure, high temperature. Our basic system does that. Okay. So they can apply it both to a hot water system and a cold water system. They can apply it to a high rise. They can apply it to anything that uh, is typical with really residential or commercial applications, and we can comply with that. Okay. And then you got a ball valve in the back here? Yeah. So it's got a, a lead free ball valve here, lead free brass. We have a stainless steel flow body up on this side right here. And the internals of this are going to last really designed for 20 years or longer. Okay. But once you cut the pipe and install this, then you have your electronics to deal with. Now the issue is uh, you tell us what length of wire you need mm -hmm. and what the closest receptacle is and you'll uh, power it from that device. What we do ask you is that it's a non-GFI and a non-switched electrical panel so you don't accidentally cut the power off or connect it to a myriad of other things that could be tripping a GFI for instance. Gotcha, so you can tell us how long you want the power cord so if the mechanical room's way down in a basement somewhere tucked away and you've only got limited access to a plug, you're good to go there. Yeah. Uh, also an outside installation. You can install this outside, but what we recommend for the customer to do is put some type of protective enclosure mm -hmm. around it mm -hmm. so you can get a longer life. If normally it's going to last, say, 20 years out in 115 or 20 degree weather in Arizona, it's going to last another three, four, five, ten years if you put a protective device on it. Yep, or the other way too, if it's extreme cold conditions all the time, your friends up in Canada or something like that, a little protective box outside. That's actually a great point because what this actuator has in it, in it it's got an internal non-condensing heater inside of it. Okay. So when the temperature gets below, I believe it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the heater will activate to prevent condensation inside damaging the electronics. Okay, so you actually got a built-in safeguard there against cold. Correct. Okay. Yeah. The other thing before we go any further is it's a high torque actuator, high torque motor, high torque actuator with some electronic protection in there in the event that uh, in 15 or 17 years, if you got high calcium deposits in your water, it's got the strength and the oomph to keep on going for a decade after decade.